guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I trim my hair at home. I do this when I get excessive shedding and when my hair is just really stringy at the ends. And this really helps my curls pop and come back to life. So let's just hop right into this. So this is my hair freshly washed. I'm just going to section it off into two sections and then we're going to work with smaller sections. And I'm not trimming off a lot at all so the sections do not have to be perfect or anything like that. You know, we're just trimming off a little bit. So this is the section that I'm going to be working with. So I'm just going to create smaller sections, maybe like medium sized sections and work with that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my hair is nice and detangled. And you guys are gonna see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to my ends. You see that little stripe right there? Yeah, all of that. I don't like that stuff. It just looks really thin and it just needs to go. So I'm gonna spritz my hair with some water. And then I'm gonna apply some conditioner just so I can see you know, how my curls are looking. And this is honestly the perfect time to deep condition as well. So you can kill two birds with one stone, but I'm just using conditioner. So I'm just gonna take my shears. You wanna make sure that you have some nice sharp shears, sharp scissors, whatever. And I'm gonna take those stringy ends as you can see, and I'm going to chop it off. And as you can see, it's not a lot at all. So it's all good. And then I'm going to twist my hair all the way down and again you'll see where you need to cut. So how I know that I need to trim my hair is when I twist it and I see that it doesn't really curl up or that I see that it's thin. So as you can see that right there is kind of thin, it's not really curling up and it doesn't really stay when I twist my hair. So I am going to trim all of that off. Now you can see that my twist is nice and full and it's curly all the way down. So it is gonna give you that fuller appearance and that's what I like because it looks really healthy. So I'm gonna show you guys again. I'm just gonna take a nice medium sized section. I'm gonna spritz my hair with some water, apply some conditioner to you know help my curls pop and to make it just easier to work with. Of course, I'm gonna detangle. And then I'm gonna examine my ends and just see all those thin hairs that definitely need to go I just hate that stuff so much and I'm just going to chop it off and this is not for people who are scared or you know are scissor happy you gotta you know be diligent when you do this and I am no expert in trimming or I'm not a hairstylist or anything but this is what works for me so yeah so again I'm going to twist my hair all the way down take a look at my ends and this is exactly what I'm talking about and where you want to cut it is where the hair starts to curl so you don't disturb the curl pattern. So that's what I'm doing right here. And as you can see, I'm left with a nice juicy twist. So this is what one side looks like once it's all twisted and trimmed. And now I'm going to move on to the next side again, just examining my ends and pulling out all the shedded hair. So now I'm just taking a medium sized section, spritzing my hair with some water, applying my conditioner and detangling. This is exactly the excessive shedding that I'm talking about. That's that shit I don't like. That's that shit I don't like. Every single time I comb my hair, even after I, you know, detangle in the shower, I need to get rid of this. So I'm going to trim all of that off. And then I'm gonna twist it all the way down and detangle if need be. And as you can see here, there's not much to cut off, just a slight, you know, thin end right there. So I'm just gonna cut that little part off and that's it. So this is what my hair looks like once I'm done trimming and twisting everything up. And as you can see towards the end, they're more juicy and full, which is what I like. And this really helps me to stop excessive shedding and it helps my curls to pop more towards the end when I'm doing like curly hairstyles. And as you can see, there's not a lot trimmed off at all. I don't usually do a big trim unless I go to a hairstylist or unless it's a straight hair routine, which I will be doing very soon. So yeah, if you guys are suffering from straggly ends and excessive shedding, it might be time for a trim. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in the next one. I love you guys so much. Leave your comments down below on what videos you guys would like to see next.
Oh yeah, and don't forget to check out my latest videos on my vlog channel and on my main channel. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button.